So today I'm going to show you how I created this design right here. Uh, there's some words in there somewhere. There we go. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to end up doing it in two, two sheets. So I'm going to do the panda and the clause words in foil. So I thought I would show y'all how I edit this because Pro Rip is a little bit different than Transfer Rip. So I'm going to do most of my editing in Photoshop. Okay, so what I've done is I've brought over just the picture of my panda <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and cut this background out. And I have to tell you, Photoshop does a really awesome job. I mean, I do take a little time on it. So I may end up having to cut this into two videos because I plan to show you what I'm doing in Photoshop and then I'll bring it into Pro Rip and show you what I do there. So let me go ahead and get started. So I'm going to choose the magic wand tool right here. And if you see up here in Photoshop 2019, and I, I tried to update to 2020, but it kept crashing my machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to select and mask by choosing that button up there. <clears throat> and you'll see it's really, you can't see anything. So I'm going to drop this transparency way down so I can see it. And then I'm going to choose my quick select tool again and I'm just going to choose select subject and it's going to do some magic <clears throat> and it's going to select quite a bit of him so you'll see it actually does a pretty good job I mean look how awesome that is so all that background is done so now all I'm going to do is just clean it up a little bit so I'm going to come over here uh, and I'm going to choose my negative brush and I'm just going to start taking some of this away. In fact, I'm going to use my brush here. All right. And we're going to use negative and we're just going to kind of paint, paint out some of this green, a little bit of this ear. And what's going to happen is when I get done with this, <sighs> stupid thing, when I get done with it, sorry about that. It's going to give me a mask and on a new layer and then I can refine it if I need to but I think this is actually pretty good whoops so let me just get that back so all I did to get that back is I came up here there's a plus this is the plus and this is the minus or you can press option on a Mac and I'm not sure what that sh what that key is it may be alt on a on a PC so I'm just going to try and quickly get some of this all right and now we know we don't want that so let me go in over to back to the quick select tool and get rid of that see how I just touched it so I'm just clicking it with my mouse and it's literally just taking all that gunk away <clears throat> all right now I'm going to go back over to my brush and I'm just going to keep you know getting rid of some of this green and probably we'll have better luck just with a mask at this point but let me just smooth that out a little bit all right so now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit this edge detection so I, I chose a two pixel for my radius I'm going to smooth it out a little bit so I'm just going to go to a let to a 10 here feather it just a hair so I don't have any crunchy edges and then I'm just going to give myself a little contrast. All right, so there, I think we're good. Let me just get rid of some of this. All right. And now I'm going to output it to a new layer with a layer mask. So I'm just going to hit OK. And you'll see here that we have this mask so I can go in and play with it, which I'm going to do just a little bit. So I'm going to get my brush tool. I'm going to, we'll get to this one in a minute. All right, so I'm just going to get a hard brush. 
and I'm going to make sure I'm painting. I'm going to set it back to default black and white, and I'm going to paint with black. <clears throat> and that is going to erase these marks. Now that's just a little too big. Let me zoom in so you guys can see what I do, what I see. And I know that's big, so forgive me. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller by hitting my down bracket key. And I'm just going to go around and just kind of let me change my opacity up here. And I'm just going to go in here and just take off this green edge. Because there, there's no reason to have that. And I probably should buy or figure out how to use my iPad <clears throat> and my pencil, but I, I haven't figured that out yet. So I'm just coming around the edge of the panda. I'm pressing my space bar to get the hand tool so I can move this around. Okay, I'm just coming back in here. And this all actually looks pretty good. Really, I just wanted to get rid of that <clears throat> green tinge. All right, so let's see what we have. Oh, a little more green up here. All right, now a really good way to see what you've got, let me bring this up here. I'm going to fill this with like a, a gray because you know, most shirts aren't really black they're like a charcoal really dark gray but they're not really black so I'm going to choose a dark gray let's put this back on the screen so that's kind of what my mask looks like I think I got a little carried away over here so I'm just going to hit the X on my keyboard and you'll notice it goes back to white and I'm just going to paint a little of that back in like down here, I kind of messed that up. Okay. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. <clears throat> now, what I have noticed in ProRip is that we really want to lighten up some of these parts right here. So let me just go ahead and get my Dodge tool. It looks like a lollipop, I guess. And I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to lighten this up right here because I want to make sure that everybody can see that this is a leg. And once I get rid of the black, it's going to be hard to do that. So I'm just going to go in and lighten the parts up that need to be lightened. And here's this little pause right here. <clears throat> okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to sharpen and actually, I'm going to brighten these eyes up because the eyes, I've noticed, are my problem. So first, let me lighten them up. And you probably can't see what it's doing, but it's actually lightening it up pretty good. See there? All right, so that's pretty light. Now I'm going to sharpen them. I'm just going to go to the tool right up above it. Click Sharpen. I'm going to sharpen those eyes up a little bit. Okay, now let's, but it looks ridiculous right there, but it'll look fine uh, when it gets printed. So now you can actually see that those are eyes. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and remove the black in Photoshop. So I'm going to go up here to my magic wand tool and I'm just going to click on the black and I'm just going to hit delete. And if you see here, see how it deleted all that? And basically what I want to do is just make sure that I can, that I still see, you know, that I can still tell it's a panda. All right, so I don't think I got rid of quite enough, so I'm going to just delete. I'm just going to keep deleting. And let me go in here. Ah, I feel like I hit the jackpot there. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Let me make this just a little bit blacker. 
because the t-shirt probably is going to be blacker than that. So let me just get a little bit darker, darker color here. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're, what he's going to look like. So I think I may, yeah, I feel like I should be okay there. And I think I'm going to just add, no, I think we're good. Might go in here and erase a little bit more of this right here. So now I'm going to get a different shape brush. So I'm going to get like a fan brush. It looks like a fan. And I'm just going to paint in white. And I'm just going to kind of get, get rid of some of this excess fur. Let me change that opacity just a little. I don't want to get crazy with it. And I think I want this back. Oops, that's what I get. Wrong side. Okay, there we go. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to get in here and paint some of this black out because it's just too much. Put it back on black. There we go. You know, I don't want a whole bunch of black on there. It's just going <clears> to <throat> look terrible. Okay. So that looks pretty good. And you can, you know, I probably shouldn't have erased that completely. I should probably have made it on the layer mask. But you get the idea. So here's where, here's what it looks like now. Whoops. So you can see, uh, made a little error there. Let's see what I did. I'm just hitting command Z, Z, Z. Here we go. So what I did was I painted in white on my layer mask. Let's get that all back. Okay. Now let's get rid of some of that. So now I'm going to be painting in black and basically I just want to get rid of some of this fur because you're not going to be able to see it anyway and it's going to just look bad. All right, so I've got my fan brush and I'm just going to come in here and get rid of some of that. <clears throat> okay, all right. So now let's fit him on the screen. All right, there he is. Now I think I'm going to have to move him down because I am putting a Santa hat on him. <clears throat> now what I did was I just went over to the internet and I found a little Santa hat. And I just pulled it down and I'll, I'll show you what I did, but let me just go ahead and copy that. And there he is. there's my hat. And let me just turn it a little. Okay, so it's a little <clears throat> orange for me for my taste. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a hue, a mask, and just change that color to make it a little more red. So I'm just going to go left. So if I go really far left, you see what happens. So I'm just going to go a little bit to the left to make it nice and red. But I don't want it to affect the whole panda. So I'm just going to right click and create a clipping mask. And so now it's only affecting that hat. So let's go ahead and merge that down. 
And now I am ready, I think, to send that over to ProRoad. I don't know. Let me, I still feel like I need to lighten this up just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> You know, I want everybody to know that it is, in fact, a panda bear. Okay. So let's turn off this gray layer. So that's what he's going to look like when he goes into ProRip. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge my visible layers. And I'm going to export it. To ProRip. So I think I am, this video is getting pretty long, so I think I am going to make a new one. Uh, so I'll see you on the next video on editing it in ProRip.